Carnage, and I play Agent Spears. I'm Juanita Stokes, and I'm one of the producers of the show. All right, so I'm, I'm going to start with Ms. Stokes on the end here. <laughs> That's right, we're, we're going to go ahead and kick start with you. And so, first of all, before we begin into the film, can you just tell us a little bit about the importance of a film like this partnering with BET Networks that is debuting right here in Urban World. Why is it important for that relationship to continue? It's extremely important for Footage Films and Chris Stokes, the director, and our whole team, Marcus Houston, Jerome Jones, Jarrell Houston, because it gives us an outlet for urban films to be made. They support us, they go a thousand percent in, and they really work hard with our company. So we're excited, and they actually let us do our own vision. So when they partner with us, they give us an opportunity to make the films that we want to make. And I love that. Now, Ms. Smith, I got I to gotta jump to you, because I've never seen you in a role like this, yeah. and you gave it up. Yes. Everyone did. That is sitting here with you. Tell me a little bit about the preparation. And I must know, did you do your own stunts? What was it like in such an action film like this? Dustin helped me actually because he's also a stuntman and we had a wonderful stunt coordinator as well, Paul uh, Logan, who was one of the other actors in the movie. And it was a lot of fun. I got beat up a lot. I had to cry a lot, <laughs> which I hadn't got the chance to do. And, and trust me, Chris wanted the tears. He's like, they never see you like this, so I need you to cry. I need some tears. Da, 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 you know. But um, but it was a lot of fun just working with this cast and working with Chris and Juanita and Marcus and the whole crew, and it was just amazing. I mean, I'm used to being funny, you know what I mean? So to not be able to be that loud mouth funny girl, you know, it was different and it was fun and it was a fun experience to have and I appreciate you guys being here and supporting the movie. Thank you a lot. And you nailed it, you nailed it from start to finish. Now I must, I must go ahead and talk to the legend. Yeah. Right? yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's no it's no secret that right now times are changing in the in in the world of television and TV is is everything is is beginning to evolve and, and to change for the better. And I and I just want to know, you know, what tips and advice can you give to to an actress that may want to maybe get into producing or, or to someone who may be started out as a producer or director who may want to transition into acting or an actress who says, you know what, times are changing. I can't even you know, get the next role. What type of advice would you tell them to keep going in, in an area that's changing? Well, first of all, no matter what else is going on, you have to have a belief in yourself. You can't yeah. let yeah. your circumstances or what's going on in the business or any of that define you. My grandmother said you always go in and give 110, and if that doesn't work, you give 120. But uh, I think for everyone, and Tasha is such a good role model with this because she does have her own school. What's the name of it again? Tisa. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. But uh, studying is so important. Having mentors is so important. Watching your mentors, your people on TV, watching how we're developing as a people. We're not just on camera. We're behind the camera. We're making the films. We're writing the films. We're producing the films. And because of companies like BET, who honors us by having us on their network, we are growing in leaps and bounds. So never let anything discourage you. They say this business is about 95% rejection. That 5% is worth fighting for, I'm telling you. Amen. And hey, I, and, and Justin, I, I, wanna, I wanna go ahead and, and pose a question to you as well. And so, this movie was very physically demanding. And so what would you say was one of the hardest scenes for you to shoot? Picking up Paul. <laughs> <laughs> How much does he weigh, if you could just throw Probably like 220. So what was your workout regimen? What, what did you do to get fit? Did you guys all train together? Actually, no. I had to. I had to lose quite a bit of weight for this. I was a little stuck around the edges when I started this film, and had to jump on a nice diet and get to the gym and maintain that whole thing. So that's what I did. He had water and sushi. That's about it. <laughs> and salad. And salad. Like I imagine Mostly that. salad. And a little miso soup on the side. A little protein okay. too. Now listen. For all of our young actresses out there that are saying, look, I want to nail, I want to get into a movie role. I get nervous in the auditions. I, I don't know what to expect. 
Tell us a little bit about your audition process. And I, I, I feel like you have a story for us here. Uh, yeah, so I go, go to school. I go to Emerson College in Boston. And I'm, an act, yeah, and I'm an acting major there. Um, my agent sent me the audition. And uh, he was like, this is you today. Do it and do your best. And I was like, oh, OK. Um, so it's my professor who's also like in film and TV. And he helped me tape. I taped it and sent it. And he was like, OK. And then about like five hours later, my agent called me and was like, you got it. And I was like, are you sure? Okay. And this is her first yeah. lead. She's one of the lead actors. And her first movie, The Girl Get Down. <laughs> wow. wow. And she's an acting teacher. I like that. All right, you got you to gotta start. I like it. Now this question, this final question before we open up the floor, uh, is for anyone on the panel. I must ask right now, it is a wonderful time for African Americans in the film industry, but we still have a long way to go. And so where do you think that we stand? What, what can we look forward to? Uh, wh who are some people who you want to work with or, or what are some great directors that you also recognize? Uh, there's one story, uh, a lot of you probably watched Family Matters, so you know uh, Mother Wednesday. Uh, she's one of the women that literally opened the door for all of us up here. I mean, she was back there with Bojangles and people like that. And we had a lot of fights on Family Matters because it was written by black writers and with a black cast, and there were certain things that we just didn't agree with as family people. And I remember we went in to argue a point, and we must have spent, it was me, Rosetta, uh, Reggie, and Joe Marie, uh, we go in, in power. That's right. And uh, try to make a point. It wasn't accepted. And as we walked out, she said, baby, this is one of the things you have to remember. We're still in the cotton field. It's just a lot bigger. We gotta work harder. Mm -hmm. And I always think of that because she really knows what that is. And she was really hurt by it, you know. But she said, you just can't stop fighting. And we never stop. That's one thing about us. We will fight. And you know what? In this movie, with nothing but it. I trust me, I know how strong you all are. And, and thank you for sharing. Would anybody else like to like to tap that? I just think it's a blessing. It's a it's a blessing to be black. No yes. offense. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to like I look at that Chinese bamboo tree, you know? You plant the seed, it takes a minute before it starts breaking through the soil, and then once it breaks through, that thing springs up and cannot stop growing. And that's what I feel is happening right now. We're finally breaking through the soil. Yes. It's a blessing. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep creating. It's a blessing that we have BET and Viacom to help create these opportunities for us as production companies, filmmakers, actors, and it's only the beginning. That's all I got to say. So get it while you can get it. Woo! I love that. Oh, right. Listen, you, got the, you got the outfit on. You I got wanted to women. say that it's not only um, being important that we are African American, but what I got, the best experience was as a woman, and a, as being a black woman, um, yes. working with Tasha, and she, I, I'll tell her this, it's my, every time I get to speak about this film, she was the biggest inspiration for me in a long time in terms of just watching her work ethic, her spirit, her vibe, just everything about her made me want to work harder and come in more into myself as a, as a woman because she's just phenomenal. And every day she comes to set, all of you came to set amazing, but I'm saying, she come like a warrior, and because she's a director as well, she always be working on every aspect of it. She wouldn't just come to act, she'd come to make sure the entire team was ready to go. She came to make sure I was ready, Dustin, Chris, and she worked on all of us. So it's like, I'm, you know, we're black, but it's also as a woman, it is definitely a time for us as well to grow and build and know that when we can come together and work together, it's just a blessing because it doesn't happen a lot and now we're doing it more often. And that was my best experience. Oh, I feel like that's how it's going. I'll give you that 20 when we die, all right? Yep, slide it to me. You know what? I'll 
always say this just as an actor, director, producer, like, and, and just period, a person. Everything is a seed. Everything we do is a seed into our life, into other people's lives around us. And the best seed that we can plant is graciousness and encouragement and positivity and empowerment to not just ourselves, but everyone else around us. I feel it's important for us to be positive leaders and mentors to people. And when we're working on sets as actors, we're mentors, we're leaders. You know, we want to make sure whether it's the you know, the, the craft service to the cinematographer, to the director, everyone needs to be treated with love, respect, and appreciation because it's such a collaboration making a movie, you know, making a television show, being creative, and we just have to respect one another. I encourage all you young filmmakers out there, pursue your passion, and, and, and the young actors out there, you know, be a blessing to the, the, the smallest person on the crew. That scene, can go a long way. Respect yourself, respect others around you, value everyone, and, um, and you know, you can get nothing but positive energy and creativity out of that experience. So thank you, Anita. I love that. Treat, treat the intern like the CEO. I love it. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, because I cannot be stingy and selfish and ask all the good questions. So really quickly, because we all are running out of time, no pun intended, I want you guys to simply raise your hand and we're gonna have someone go ahead and bring a mic to you. We're gonna go ahead and take, open the floor for questions right now. So please do not be shy. I see a lot of talent in the building um, as well as some fans. So if you have a question, please throw your hand up. Okay, okay, the, okay. Your floor coming to you. Hello? It's gonna be a lot of running tonight. <laughs> Bye, love you too. God bless you. I took your master class at ABFF. Yes. Yeah, thank you. I would first like to say that all of you guys were amazing. Yes. And thank you. Thank you very much. And my question is um, do you all think it will be a sequel? <laughs> well, they didn't kill me. <laughs> I'm already dead, so. Plus, Tasha still have a file, though. She still have a copy of the file. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the why I need a question. I mean, well, actually, Mr. Stokes isn't here. Okay, more Marcus with their creative brains, that would be a Chris question. But I don't know. I mean, I think that if enough people wanted a sequel, they would definitely be open to do one. And if BET was ready to do it, they already know how we move. We all in. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Uh, next question, we have one right here in the center, and then it was uh, the young woman in the black and red. Hello, everybody. Hi. I just want to say that I really, really enjoyed the film. And it's not it's more of a comment. Um, I just wanted to say who, the, the shooting of the, um, the scenes, all of the, the, the um, wonderful things that you did while you guys were fighting, you all look so fierce and beautiful. I never seen like scenes where you're like the the crispness of the film, like the cinematography of the fighting, like yeah. when like you guys look like just like magic on the screen. Like usually you see like a lot of blood and gore and it's hard to watch, but I didn't know whether I wanted to um, take pictures of you guys while y'all were fighting or just enjoy the moment. So I just wanted to say that you guys were fierce on the screen and you all look so beautiful, kicking ass. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that is one of the specialties of Chris Stokes as a director. He takes, um, it's very important to him how people look. So he takes his time to make sure everyone looks amazing. That's what I was going to say. That's one of Chris's big things. He wants his actors and his set, his picture to look brilliant. And he, he succeeds at that every time. Thank you very much for that comment. Um, hi, thank you so much for this film. Um, we are young black filmmakers, um, 22 and 23. Woo! And, um, thank you. Um, and we want to like tell stories about us. And so what advice would you give us when we feel like we have these things working against us, not only being black, but being a woman and being young? How do we get people to take us seriously in this industry um, when it doesn't seem like there's a lot of room for our voices? Well, I'll 
say, I remember when I, I was looking to direct and I realized, well, I, I had never directed before, so no one really wanted to just give me that opportunity, so I had to go take my own money, raise my own money, and do the work in order to create product that people would appreciate in order to trust me to create and direct and work on their projects, you know? So I would say you just gotta keep pressing. You know, faith is one of the greatest things that you have outside of your talent. You have your talent, but it takes faith to help empower you to keep pushing and not to quit. Don't assume that it's not gonna happen because it's just taking some time. There's a process to success. Allow yourself to experience the process and learn as much as you can on the way. Don't give up. And you know, I always give the scripture in Galatians 6, 9, not to grow weary while doing good for a new season. Come on. Yes, Lord. Yes. I love that. All right, wait, okay. We have one more at the top. Do okay, I have one here and one there. And I really do think that we are running out of time. Courtney, how are we doing? <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and take those last two. Okay, this is not much of a question. just wanted to say it's empowering to watch a um, film with mostly black leading cast members. Justin, first of all, your voice is dope. Thank you. Tasha, I just want to ask you, why did you run past both cars? <laughs> oh, I don't know, girl. <laughs> Why was I looking so crazy? I felt like I was looking fake after I fell down the steps and was running out. Oh, oh look at that fake ass running. You know, like. Like I was like something was hurt and I was like, damn it, is that some fake shit? Or is that like <laughs> <laughs> You know, I can't look at myself, honey. I don't know why. I just do whatever the director tells me to do. And that's it. You know, but I cringe every time I look at myself. I don't care what it is, so uh. <laughs> But look, at least you were paying attention. So I think that you have two votes for a sequel. Keep it in mind. All right, we'll go ahead and take the final question. I all my ass out in the movie. I was done, okay? Oh, hold on, we didn't even get to that long. Girl, you were fit in this film. I need, I need, I need to watch the workout plan. All right, we all do. Snatch, all right, that final question to the top left. All right, first off, I want to say everybody did an excellent job. It's like, I know everybody in here feel the same way. Y'all did an excellent job on this film. And I feel like y'all actually uh, told the story and answered everything, of course, just like any movie would, but uh, my question is, basically, I know films have all different sides. What about somebody that's trying to get into, like, film music? What type of advice would you uh, have for somebody that's trying to get to these uh, movie companies and get soundtracks to movies and films? Um, well, it's, you would really just have to find one of the companies and probably submit music if you were open to do that. Um, the producer that we use the most, uh, Emmanuel Rich, is just happens to be someone that works for our company. But we're always looking for new music, um, but it's easy to just submit. Go to the website, www.footagefilms.com, and there's a space for you to submit whatever it is that you're trying to get done. And like music supervisors, like find out who the music supervisors are for the different projects that you love, you know, because of the way the music was done in the movie and the scoring was done in the movie and, and submit to them too. You know, the production companies, the music supervisors, you really just gotta do the work, you know what I mean? Like if you keep knocking on enough doors and keep submitting enough stuff, you know, it's a seed. Remember, everything you do is a seed and just, you gotta just keep doing it until something happens. Like, I believe that our dreams are not figments of our imagination, but God's showing us a glimpse of our future. So if it's your dream, it's not something that just came out of nowhere. It was something that was dropped into your spirit, and it's something you're supposed to do. So just keep sending it out, keep pushing, keep keep knocking on the doors, and I promise you, we'll probably be seeing you a year from now back at Urban World, and you'll be like, yo, what's up? You know, my music is up in this movie, or this TV show. It's gonna happen. It's 
I want to add to that too. I have something very special to say about musicians. First of all, I can relate to you very much because I was a musician my whole life until I was an actor. I used to sneak on the studio lots and drop my demos. And wherever I could find the A and R's, I would literally drop my demos everywhere. I would just find them in just like a night crawler. I just walk in and just be gone. I mean, look, whatever you have to do, I feel like anything in life you really want to chase after, you just you envision it and then you go for it. And it's weird how things happen. I mean, I was a musician, now I'm an actor. I was going after it, uh, probably everything that I possibly had, and got lucky as an actor. It's weird how life kind of comes along and says, mm, you're not doing that, you're doing this. So you never know by putting that best foot forward in whatever line of work it is. Something even greater can happen. You never know. All right, and as they say, that's the law of attraction. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jamola Mustafa. This is the cast of Running Out of Time. And this was...